Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Jack of All Trades, New Hampshire. As promised, I'm coming back to you with the second edition of the Mini Split Will It Heat My Room episode. So let's get into that intro. Alright folks, I shot some video the other day. We had some finally had some sub-zero temperatures here in New Hampshire. We've had a really, really mild winter, which has been great. Uh, but I wanted to test it out. I was hoping we would have some sub-zeros. And it was down to like negative seven at night. I got up as early as I could. And we were pushing negative two here at the house. And uh, I, got to test the, uh, I got to test the mini split out. And I want to go ahead and roll that film right now. And then I'll give you my thoughts afterwards. Okay, YouTubers, welcome back to Jack of All Trades, New Hampshire. I have an updated video here for you. It, it is negative two degrees outside, and this is possibly the coldest day of the year. So I've got up here at six o'clock in the morning, and we're gonna do a test on this mini split. I kicked this thing on about an hour ago, and it's been running. Uh, I know I've done that each time for each one of my tests, but just so you know, it usually comes up to temperature within a couple minutes. Uh, it's mainly to make sure that the plastic has reached the temperature that it needs to in order to uh, not not uh, throw any of the test results off. So just a recap, if you want to see my previous video, I tested this mini split out at 40 degrees outside ambient temperature, which would be the normal temperature that you would possibly kick this on for uh, in between seasons before winter, like say like a, a late fall or early spring where you wouldn't want to use uh, a wood stove or any other heating source just enough heat to take the chill out of the air so I ran a test at 40 degrees and I was pushing out 138 degrees here and then we tested it again at 5 degrees ambient temperature outside and we got 128 degrees so right now it's below zero outside my thermometer outside says negative 2 I don't know if we can see that. All right, but just to confirm, Alexa's always gonna be here for us. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's minus one degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 28 degrees. All right, so here we go, let's do the test. Same spot, and we're gonna let it run a full cycle. I used this spot just as reference and I've used it on every one and what you're going to see is, is that as more air gets deflected the temperature will decrease and as less air gets deflected it will increase. All right, there we have it, 117, almost 118 degrees. All right, so as you can see there, uh, at negative two degrees, negative one, negative two degrees, we had about 117 degrees. Now I can tell you, unlike the test where we had at five degrees and at 40 degrees, five degrees being the closest one to, to what we tested now, I did not think it was actually heating that well. It, it really, to me, it really felt like uh, the warm, uh, like a warm hair dryer kind of it wasn't hot of course uh, pushing out 117 degrees if your room is 65 degrees it's going to heat the room uh, just just like the manufacturers have, have mentioned you know uh, it's just not going to be as efficient I know when I was doing my research for this product uh, a lot of people were saying or a lot of the manufacturers notices were saying that uh, it loses efficiency over time as it gets colder and I really didn't understand what that meant. That's why I made these videos up here. So I can tell you uh, the mini splits easily heat at 40 degrees. They easily heat at five degrees. You'll have no problems at all with that. Um, I would say that you would struggle to heat the house or to heat your room if it's, if it's sized correctly uh, at negative two degrees. Any, anything below zero is probably going to be too cold to use efficiently. Now, will it be able to help? Uh, let's say you've got your wood stove going, 
or your radiant heat kicked on, yeah, uh, it'll help heat the house up. It, it'll join forces with those other elements. But I, I can say probably you're not going to get your money's worth, really. Um, it just doesn't become efficient at that point. So anyway, uh, this was a real quick video. I just wanted to pop in and give this, this update on the mini split. Winter is finally going to be over here. As you can see, it's sunny out and it's actually uh, pretty late in the day. So that means the sun's staying out later, which is great for us. Uh, if you want to stay tuned here, I'm actually going to do a video next on Amazon's cheapest 4K game camera. I got some pretty good footage with that. And we're going to compare it to the Victor 1080 cam that I had uh, a couple weeks back. So uh, stay tuned for that. Hit the like and the subscribe button. Take care. Bye.